your oxygen mask on first before helping your child. I'm sharing three things that I do to help myself stay calm, remain calm when my kid is losing it. And I'm going to give you a little secret. Sometimes it doesn't it doesn't happen all the time. There are times where I still lose it and that is okay. It's about building that connection, having a plan ahead of time. So we're going to talk about the three things you need to have a plan so that the next time your kid loses it, <laughs> you'll have something to fall back on. So number one way to remain calm when your child is losing it is that over the week, over the day, you've been filling your cup with little tiny things. That means that you're drinking water. That means that you're going to sleep on time. That means that when you have a bad day, you have someone to turn back to. So you're filling your own cup, you're, you're taking care of yourself, you're putting yourself on your to-do list and you're making sure that you are important. You're putting on your own oxygen mask before your kids. And so in the moment, when your kid is having a really hard time, it is okay to step away. It really is. It's okay to know that if you stay right by your kid in that moment, that you're not going to be able to help them. And so it's okay to put your oxygen mask on first before helping your child. And so my second secret is that when my kid is melting down in front of me, I actually turn a little switch in my brain I remove as much emotion as possible. And I know when your child is saying, I hate you, or if your child is kicking someone else or yelling things, that sometimes it's really hard. If they're doing that one thing that you told them not to do, and they're doing it again, it can feel like it's against you. But I want you to work really hard at remembering that behavior is always communication. And so my second secret to remaining calm when my child is losing it actually is a prep work before the meltdown as well. So that's two tips that happen before the meltdown ever happens. And that is that I have to prep myself. The next time my child does this, I have to tell myself, my child needs me. My child is trying to tell me something. What is my child trying to tell me? And I go into detective mode. Now, if I haven't taken care of myself, if I haven't filled my own cup, and if I'm exhausted, I'm gonna have a lot harder time remembering that my child's trying to talk to me. I'm gonna have a lot harder time trying to be that detective and be analytical about it and remove all emotion. I know that these are easier said than done. The third thing also comes before the meltdown. So if you notice, this is all about having a plan before the problem occurs. That is my, my biggest belief, is that if you have a plan ahead of time, you're going to be 98% more um, successful when the problem occurs than if you just go in with no plan. If you're just going through this willy-nilly hoping that you can throw some you know, fidgets at your kid or you can do some breathing exercises and all is gonna be well with the world. So my third piece is having a plan. So what I do with the plan is I actually have figured out what calming strategies calm myself down. And sometimes one of the things that I do is I have a list of things and I practice them before it's a, a rough moment or anything like that. And I practice which ones actually help calm me down. Some of them are so small and simple. Like close your eyes just for a second, right? Take in a deep breath. Look around the room and notice five things that you see. A really awesome one is to count the things that you can see. Then count uh, four things that you can smell, and then three things that you can that you can hear. And then just start counting down your senses that you can feel, that you can taste. But really paying attention to your senses are going to help calm your body, center your body, and it's okay to walk away. It's okay to walk out into the fresh air and then come back when your child, when you have a better sense of being able to arm yourself and be ready for your child.